Hey there, fellows. So a few people suggested we try it and we'd love to ourselves. This is a manual transmission for a lot right here. It's a simple unit, and the idea is to cut out what we can to make it see-through. Then we'll fit it to a car, then we'll start the engine and run through the gears. See how all of it works. Now let's do this. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link of course is gonna be in the description. We make a see-through gearbox. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Take a look at the results. We've made one window right next to the shift mechanism, and the oil pan we've replaced with this clear pane. And we can see everything now. You've got the shafts, the gears, the dog clutches, and for all of it to be washed in light, we've made another window. We cut this out, and take a look at that. That plexiglass window gives you a very nice view. We'll be able to see everything going on inside the transmission. Now we bring a car in, fit the box, start the engine and look on. Okay, we fitted the box, it's all good. We've already tried running it. Through here we can see the... The shift linkage, the shifter. Output shaft, input shaft, forks, gears, dog clutches. You can clearly see all of it. Let's have a look. Excellent. What do we got? Can you stop? Oh, very good, didn't even have to tell you. He's on the brakes, very nice. And here's what we see. The output shaft is in constant motion. The input... Press the clutch! And as soon as he did that, the shaft stopped moving. Give me, I don't know, first gear? See that? Very nice. The dog clutch moved into position. 100% engagement. So that right there is first gear. Give me second. And let's watch it move. In the other direction, great. The wheels are rotating at a much higher speed. Well, I mean, obviously in a higher gear. Clutch. The wheels and the shafts are about to stop rotating, great. Awesome. Give me third now. Third. What are you doing? And we're in third now. That clutch and gauge is first and second. That one is for third and fourth. Tremendous. It all works. That is a lot of revs. Well, I mean, it's not excessive. For a mechanism like this, it can handle a whole lot more. 
That window I can't really see from here. Give me neutral. Okay, that moved over. Clutch. The wheels are going to stop rotating. And the shafts are going to follow. Okay, they've stopped rotating. Give me some gear, doesn't matter which one. That's first gear, I see. Now he's in gear, holding the clutch. Everything is sitting in place. The wheels and everything. Release the clutch. Go for second. Did you notice? So when the clutch was pressed in... Give me third. Very nice. Now fourth. I've got a good view of the synchros. Give me third. Second. We're going the other way now. Looking from down here, it seems pretty straightforward. Now, I'm not going to go into how the gearbox works. Because the goal here is to see how it works. And it all looks pretty nice. Can you row through the gears for me? First. Second. Third. Fourth. Reverse. Neutral. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Neutral. What about reverse? Reverse. So we had it spinning. We were going through the gears. However, we didn't have any oil inside the gearbox. So I suggest we pour in some fresh fluid and see what happens. The gears were spinning pretty quickly. Okay, check it out. We've poured in the fluid, which is fairly clear, and there's about as much as there should be. It was right about to where we made the cutout. And now we just need to start the engine. Wait a second. Don't start it yet. Look at that. This is pretty interesting. The gearbox was running with no oil for about 15 minutes, and look at that. We've poured in some fluid, and on this lower pane, we can see some metal shavings. Nice! Oh my, look at the... We ran the gearbox, and now I'm watching it flush out metal shavings. And the gears are kicking the oil up and turning it into foam. You have got a very good view from over here. Oil getting kicked around. Clutch. And hold it. The shafts have stopped. Give me second, I guess. It's in gear, very nice. Let's go. So nice. It looks about the same as when we made that transparent differential cover. We also saw oil being kicked around, and there was plenty of lubrication. And this is also doing well. Look at how it's being sprayed. Now I wouldn't imagine there is a part in there that lacks lubrication, with how it's being sprayed around. Give me some gas. Yeah, it's being dispersed in all directions. 
And what's really interesting is that if we look through the window next to the shift mechanism, you're not going to believe it. Everything is lubed, you got oil spraying around. I mean, obviously you have rotating parts in there as well. A shaft, a sprocket. Reverse gear is not moving at the moment. Give me reverse, please. Rev it up. There we go. Looking pretty good. That is some quality lubrication happening. Enough. Obviously, there's plenty of it here. And that's nice. Everything is moving and spinning and getting lubricated. You've got an oil film that significantly reduces wear and tear. Okay, check this out, guys. We've done something quite interesting here. Look at those metal shavings. It's all on the... clear pane now. That is a lot of metal dust. But, I mean, this has seen some mileage. And at the end of the day, it works. It's a lot, enough said. We've seen the inside of it and everything's great. I mean, we obviously had an idea on how a gearbox works, but... This is the first time I've looked inside of one. Seen the parts rotating, the oil being sprayed, gears shifting. I'm sure a lot of people have held the parts when tearing down transmissions and so on. But not a lot of people have seen anything like this. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.